Covington, you can't stop these two speak. The whole thing nearly brought the house down. Mum Cheryl and sister Bianca here supporting Regan and Karina. They had real fun recreating Hairspray, the empowering musical set in 60s Baltimore. The judges' challenge this week requires a combination jump, and Regan went with the flip and half axle. The back walkover causing a bit of trouble for Karina's beehive, but apart from that, pretty swift and sharp. And they finished in style with the travelling dance block with spin, underlining their layers of ability. I don't think they need any hairspray to give them extra volume, but they do need points on the board. So let's find out what the judges think. Ashley. Nine. OT. Nine. Arlene. Nine. Jane. Nine. <laughs> and for a full set, Chris. Guess what? Nine. It's a whopping 45. <laughs> Something tonight. Well done to Regan and Karina, and thank you to our commentator Sam Matterface. Well done. What a way to start the show. And this was so far up your street tonight, wasn't it? Yeah, I just love performing in like a musical, just taking on like a character and bringing it to life. And extra pressure tonight because Arlene I is know. here. Did <laughs> yeah. that make it worse for you? Oh, it's just such a pleasure and honour to be able to perform in front of in front of you. So I'm just yeah, I'm uh, just yeah. Well, she gave you a nine as she well. She did. She was I impressed know. too. Let's ask her why. <laughs> Ali, what did you think? I was so impressed. You are like a joy to watch, fire on the eyes. You can't stop the beat. Everything, the ponies were in rhythm. Every move was the rhythm. And you just had kind of a little wobble, but you pick yourself up, you just smashed it, and you were a delight. <laughs> Yes, it was, a, it was a great performance, um, and I loved that move you did at the end, at the very end. Um, for me, it needed a bit more clarity... What? Oh, OK. <laughs> um, <laughs> a bit more clarity on the landing of, of the jumps. It was yeah. just a little bit off, but you were doing one of the most difficult jumps. So, well done. <laughs> Regan, for me, this was the first time that I felt like you were at home. You were in your own zone, you were really skating. Yes, you had the wobble, that's fine, that's normal. But you added other styles of dancing. Well done, Angela, for that. You got the jive, you got the ponies. It was a full performance, one to be proud of. Oh, Regan, um, did you sprout some wings? Because that jump was so high. Yeah? <laughs> yeah? It was, uh, I think it's going to be one of the highest jumps in the competition. Look, you had great character out there. The ponies, the characterization was all there. but. I'm going to get on to you about transitions. Yeah. I think the transitions were too easy. You were skating in Killian Hold, backward crossovers. Last week, you showed me far more diverse ways of skating around, and I'd like you to bring that back. But great performance. <laughs> yeah, uh, you know what, Regan? I, I just want to add, you are an incredible mover, an incredible performer. I could watch you all day. So when I get on to you with notes, it's only because I think you're so brilliant. And my notes for this week were, you almost felt too at home. It felt like there was a lot of it that was quite stationary, and I really wanted to see you skate more and have more dynamics, so I just can't wait for the moment. The creativity, the choreography, the skating, and the performance comes together, because when that happens and it really clicks, it's gonna be something special.